Speaking of presidents and their legacies, I, I want to acknowledge uh, a wonderful friend, Steven Spielberg and Daniel Day-Lewis, uh, who are here tonight. Um, we had a, a screening of their most recent film, Lincoln, uh, which was an extraordinary film. Uh, I am a little nervous, though, about Steven's uh, next project. Uh, I saw a behind-the-scenes look on HBO. Uh, well, let's just check it out. Roll the tape. Well, I was thrilled that Lincoln was a success, and as I was thinking about what to do next, uh, it, it, in the middle of the night I woke up and it hit me. Obama. I mean, the guy's already a lame duck, so why wait? Picking the right actor to play Obama, that was the challenge. I mean, who is Obama, really? We don't know. We never got his transcripts, and uh, they say he's kind of aloof. So I needed someone who could dive in and really become Barack Obama. And as it turns out, the answer was right in front of me all along. Daniel Day-Lewis. Was it hard playing Obama? I'll be honest, yeah, it was. This accent took a while. Hello, Ohio. Hello, Ohio. I love you back. Look, look, let me be clear about this. The cosmetics were challenging. I mean, you wouldn't believe how long it takes to put these ears on anymore. I don't know how you watch one of these. But once we had Daniel to play Obama, we had to cast the rest of his team. And I think we've got some pretty terrific performances. Working with a legend like Daniel is intimidating, but he makes everyone better. You know, without him, I never could have played Joe Biden. Literally. I am Joe Biden. The hardest part, trying to understand his motivations. You know, why did he pursue healthcare first? What makes him tick? Why doesn't he get mad? If I were him, I'd be mad all the time. But I'm not him. I'm Daniel Day-Lewis. <laughs> so, uh...